Tonight is going to be a case of the Monday blues after a mostly dry weekend as some rain and thunder showers are marching our way late tonight. On the Max Track Lad Doppler, all the activity is still off to the west of I-65 at this hour, but all that rain is heading in our direction. Meanwhile, over the past half hour or so, some lone clusters of showers have popped up around the bluegrass. A little bit of a hardier one into northern Nicholas County, putting down some heavy rain. Similar story on the border of Jessamine and also Madison County. Meanwhile, some more light rain just to the north of Winchester and also in northern Madison County near the Kentucky border. But that's just kind of some precursor rain. And we did see a few showers cruise through earlier in the evening. Those all continue to lift off towards the north and east through West Virginia and Ohio. But the activity that we're monitoring out to the west of Louisville, still through western Kentucky and also southern Indiana. At one point, there were some severe thunderstorms rolling through Missouri. They have lost their punch, but still some rumbles of thunder can't be ruled out as we go through the overnight hours. You can see rather quick Quickly, though, things are starting to clear out back across Missouri, but still a severe thunderstorm watch remains in effect for central Arkansas late tonight. So these thunderstorms got going thanks to a low that was once over Kansas City, now starting to push through southeastern Missouri. Meanwhile, there's a warm front that's out ahead, and that guided in some of those showers into the afternoon and also that warm up that we felt today. Now that low is going to continue to press eastward. There's also a cold front that's driving southward, and both of those are going to be interacting, creating for a bit of a wet setup as you head back to work tomorrow. So again, all the rain still off to our west for now, but as we continue through the wee hours of the morning into the pre dawn hours, that's when we begin to see that rain continue to march its way eastward. The storms that are out there now are going to continue to lose their punch, but still a rumble of thunder, some heavy rain will be possible with that widespread rain that will be developing into the start of the day tomorrow. Keep the rain gear handy, especially through the early afternoon. That's when the bulk of the action will happen, but then rather quickly as we roll into the afternoon and evening hours, things will be shutting down as that cold front continues to sag southward, eventually washing out all of the rain, drying things out, and then rather quickly will welcome back sunshine into Tuesday. In terms of rain, it's not going to be a lot, so very uh, dissimilar to what we have been seeing over the past couple of weeks, as generally we could pick up anywhere from a quarter to let's say even half an inch of rain as we go into Monday evening. In terms of the rainfall we've seen so far this year, we're about four inches above our normal as we picked up 13 and a half inches of rain and compared to this time last year, of course, last year was the wettest year on record. We'd already recorded almost 16 inches of rain. Now, once we clear out the rain that we're going to be seeing tomorrow, high pressure will take over. That means some pleasant conditions are setting up through the rest of the week. Temperatures will also bounce back following that cool start as highs will be right around 50 both tomorrow and Tuesday, but then it's a steady warm up through the end of the week as high temperatures will be flirting with 70 come Thursday and Friday. So tonight we'll be watching those showers to develop during the pre dawn hours. Otherwise, skies stay cloudy as temperatures fall into the upper 40s. For your Monday, rain will be around, especially in the morning through the early afternoon, but quickly shutting down late day. Sunshine is back on Tuesday. We're cool though. Wednesday will be nice. Thursday, even better with highs close to 70. Those showers on Friday look to hold off until very late in the day. And those up and down temperature swings continue into the early stages of April. We'll have more LEX 18 news after this.